Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. We'll be checking in with my partner Andrew Tolls in just a few minutes. Now, Ocean City is known for its beaches and its nightlife, but for those that enjoy birding, the nighttime is the right time to get outdoors. Our journey begins at Talbot Street Water Sports in South Ocean City. And while the night owls are already gathering at MR Ducks, these folks will be boarding the Shorebird Explorer to look for nightlife of a different kind. The coastal birds that forage at dusk in the inland bays of Ocean City and Assateague Island. It's a trip organized by Jim Rapp and Dave Wilson of Delmarva Birding. We'll begin with a quick trip under the Route 50 bridge to explore Skimmer Island. And right out of the gate, we're treated to the sight of a black-crowned night heron who's in the process of hunting. So get your cameras out. A black crown night heron. The islands that we had were created when the inlet was cut um, and created when other dredge spoil was dredged many years ago. And those islands are eroding, in some cases, down to nothing. We've lost three or four islands that were critical for nesting just in the past two or three years. Uh, and we're really down to two islands now for really good nesting birds. And that's it in the whole state of Maryland for a lot of these species. It's do or die time for them. We're really trying to get some uh, work done with the Corps of Engineers and Natural Resources, uh, the DNR. To, uh, to correct that, that problem and, and uh, work to put some of that dredge spoil right back where it belongs, right where these islands are. Skimmer Island, also known as Bird Island or the 4th Street Flats, is a unique and fragile home. Can everybody see the oyster catcher? To breed successfully, birds such as black skimmers, royal terns, and common terns need predator-free, barren sand beaches such as this. What would you love to see tonight? Uh, I'd love to see some more black skimmers, royal terns, least terns, and common terns. Love them. Love those birds. Great blue hair right over top of them right now. Right that. Skimmer Island is constantly being reshaped by storms and tidal currents, but efforts to conserve the island with sand dredged from the Ocean City Fishing Center's approach channel have tried to balance the loss from erosive tidal currents. It's a constant battle. Then it's back under the bridge to see what we can find along the bay side of Assateague. Right there, just to find the boat. Um, that's a great spot for birding in Ocean City because it's a fallout site for migrant warblers and songbirds. I'm a local teacher and uh, I was bringing my kids out, so this is the backup trip for our original one because of wind, so we're excited to get out here. So learning new things, meeting new people, uh, great experience out here. Everybody see this summer running turnstone right here on the edge, right over the edge, right here, great look. This Willet has found the perfect perch for hunting. Barrier islands are wonderful spots for birds in general. Uh, in Maryland, we have only one barrier island, that's Ocean City and Assateague, which is really one island with an inlet in the middle of it. Um, and the birds nest on the island, but they also use the island for breeding, and they use the island for food, uh, and they use the island for just about everything you might think of as a, for wildlife that we do on an island. And so, uh, the barrier island, especially at Assateague, which is in really good shape, um, is where we see the vast majority of colonial nesting birds and birds that, that breed only in one place in the whole state of Maryland, and that is behind Assateague and behind Ocean City in some cases. Thankfully, conservation has led to success stories, and this nesting pair of ospreys are proof. That's funny. Oh, look, there's another one right there. Inside. Oh, it's got two coats. Oh, yeah, I see it. Don't want the side there. We'll go as far south as the area known as the Flats, which is a great spot for bird watching although it too was a casualty of a storm not long ago. We had a, a nor'easter in, in 2017 in July, which is really unusual, and it wiped the entire island out and all the little puff balls with it, so it was really a shame. But it's worth the trip, because here's that black skimmer that Dave was hoping for. Good looking skimmer coming across. Blue skimmer. Skimmer. skimmer is feeding right on the right side, coming right across the bow of the There's your show, right there. Come around, he's going to give you the other side, the other side. Black skimmers feed by skimming their long beak along the water's surface, and we're in the perfect position to see it. Snapping up minnows. Silver sides. Yeah, it is. Look at that. That's a great look. And that's a black skimmer? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's 
just a cool shot. And with that, we'll head back to the hustle and bustle of Ocean City nightlife. But for those wanting a quieter experience, a bird watching trip along Delmarva's inland bays just might be the ticket for you. Mm -hmm.